My name is Carrie Fuller and I'm the Director of Education for Babe Hair Extensions and we are here in our amazing Babe showroom. It's located in Salt Lake City, Utah and it's a one-stop shop for all things Babe and only Babe. So here to help us out today is our model Denise and we are going to talk about hand tied weft extensions and a few exciting things that you can do with them. So let's go ahead and take a look. So a lot of people feel like hand tied weft extensions are a type of application, which isn't true. Hand tied weft extensions are actually a type of weft. So this is what a hand tied weft extension looks like. You can see it's really thin and it's very lightweight. So the way it's constructed, it actually uses thread and little pieces of hair that create a really thin small braid that creates the application point at the top of the weft. They're amazing for people who have really thin or fine hair and you can layer up to about three of them on any track of beads and then they're sewn to it which I'm going to show you how to do in just a second. So then the other type of weft that's also sewn into the hair is called a machine sewn weft. So you can see it's a little bit different. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier. It's actually multiple wefts that are pre-sewn together so they actually can come with either three uh, tracks sewn together or two wefts sewn together and then they can be deconstructed down into individual pieces to adjust for the client's thickness and density of hair. So a lot of people love these because they do provide more thickness at the scalp, they cover the client's hair a little bit faster, but you would never want to layer more than just one the way that it comes out of the package like this. If you tried to put another one on top of it like this, it would be way too heavy for the client's hair. Okay, so now let's go ahead. I wanna show you how to install the hand tied weft extensions into Denise's hair. Okay, so you can see I've already sewn some of the weft into Denise's hair. because so I wanna show you just how to create the stitch on both sides and then talk about how to fold this over if you end up with your weft too long past the section of beads that you're working with. So I've applied my track of beads, putting them right next to each other and they are measured by measuring about a by measuring your section two lengths of the bead this way and then one length of the bead this way. Okay, and then they're placed right next to each other within that row. We always use silicone beads to support the weight of the wefts, no matter what type of extension we're putting into the hair. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm creating a knot on this side of the bead and on this side of the bead both. So as I begin my stitch, I'm going to go through that base section of the of Denise's hair and I'm going to go around that hand tied weft. I pull that needle through and around that section and then you'll see what happens is there's a little loop that gets created. So I'm going to take that needle and I'm going to put it through the top of the loop this way. By creating knots in the section of thread and while you're stitching, it actually holds that weft in place a little bit better than if you were just creating loops and not actual knots. So to create the other part of that knot, I'm going to take that needle and go exactly through that same section. And as I pull it through this time, you'll see, here's my loop again. Okay, this time I'm gonna go up through that loop. So the first time I went down, this time I'm gonna go up. So I put that through going up and I pull it up nice and tight. I always wanna pull in a vertical motion. If I pull towards me, it will move the thread to the front part of that weft and then you can see it. We always want that thread to hide across the top of the weft. Now for educational purposes, I have chosen a bead and a thread that is a little bit lighter than Denise's hair, just so you could see a better visual while we're doing this. So I'm going through this section on the left side of the bead and I'm going to go around the weft, okay? As I pull it through, there's my loop. I go down the first time, pull straight up to pull it nice and tight. Then I go through that exact same section. And I wanna try to keep my needle straight up and down. So if I come at it this way on an angle, I'm gonna create big splits in that weft and it just doesn't look as pretty. So straight up and down with that needle, pull it through and there's my loop and I go up this time, okay? All right, so now that would complete the section. Now, if this was my last bead and I was done here, I would simply go through that same section again. I do it twice and then just tie it off in a knot. But if you end up having, so the hand tied weft extensions come pre-cut. They're basically about a 10 inch long weft or with Babe, we have a five inch long weft as well that you can use. 
So if your bead section isn't exactly perfect, when you get to the end, you have two options. You can either cut it and glue it, or you need to uh, fold it over. So we recommend that you fold it over rather than gluing it, just so you don't run the risk of it coming unraveled. But I'm gonna show you how to do both. Okay, so if you were gonna fold it over, you can either go back on top of it this way, or you can try to hide it underneath. Now it depends on the, the weft you're using and it depends on the client's hair how easy tucking it under is. I like to tuck it under if I can, just so that it doesn't uh, show as much. So now this is the only time I'm gonna actually go through that section of hair on an angle. So I go back through the section of Denise's hair and I'm gonna put it on an angle this way so that I'm wrapping around and through that weft. Okay, so as I come up, I do the same thing. Here's my loop, okay, and I would be putting that down through it. I just have to hold it with this hand to keep it tight. Okay, so then I pull that edge tight and pull it up and secure it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing by going through that on an angle. You can also do this uh, application type or you can also do this to the ends of any of your weft extensions. If you have what we call wings <laughs> sticking out on the sides to tighten those and bring those in nice and close to the scalp. Okay, so just like that. And then that's gonna complete that so that it's not gonna stick out. Then all I do is just go ahead and tie off that knot in my thread. Okay, I like to so that you can hide it a lot of times you can even just put it back through the section, come down this way underneath, just pull it all the way through, and then you can tie the knot on the back side underneath here, and then that way it doesn't show either. Okay, and then you just clip the thread, leave it about an inch long, and you're done. Now I want to show you how to clip the uh, weft as well and glue it. So here I have my hand tied weft extension. If I was going to clip it, I need to use a pair of our stork shears and I'm going to clip through the top of that attachment point. Remember, it's like a braid. So if you think about it, if you had a braid installed in your own hair and you clipped in the middle of that braid or you snagged something in the middle of that braid, the whole thing would come undone. So it's the same thing with this. It has to be glued so that it doesn't come undone and it has to be glued well. So you're going to use a weft adhesive. We have our version, our brand, which is amazing. And all you're gonna do is remove that brush and you're gonna go along the top of that weft, along the edge that was cut, and along the back side, and then across the top, okay? Now, we do recommend that you go all across the length of that weft, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Then I like to take one of our little mini clips and just grab a hold of that end and just press it. I do the mini clip so I don't attach my fingers to the weft and get stuck to it, okay? So I'm just gonna press it together just like that. Then I take that off and I get it, I'm going to do it again. So I do this same process three times. So I go across it, across the end, across the back side, and across the top. And then I'm going to press it with my mini clip and just hold it, if I can get it, I'm gonna press it and hold it in place, okay? And just let it dry for about 30 seconds in between each one. Okay, and that way you know that it's not gonna come undone. Again, we recommend folding versus cutting and gluing, but you can do either. So now I wanna show you something really fun and another great opportunity that we have with weft extensions. So uh, here, let's take a look at what I've done so far. So this is a way to hide or make the beads completely invisible. So one of the things that a lot of people love about hand tied weft extensions or weft extensions in general is that they lay really flat to the customer's head. And when you part it, you really can't see the weft like you do tape in or bead extensions. And so one thing that's evolving and has been really fun to watch come out in our industry with weft extensions is the ability to actually hide the track of beads as well. So I've started here and I've just already pre-done some of it just for time's sake. But what I did is I put my track of beads in exactly as the same as I did on this side. So one right next to each other, same size, zero degree elevation and a silicone bead. 
Then you place one of the wefts underneath that track of beads and you place the other weft on top of that track of beads and you clip them together. Okay, just like this. So now when I've stitched, all I've done is I've gone around both wefts through the same section of hair, but around both wefts and tied my knots exactly the same. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on our last couple of sections. Now I do realize my weft is way too long, so I'm just gonna show you how to do it around these last two sections of beads. So I go through the base section, and you can feel where the bead is at, where it's installed. So I don't really have to like pull it out and look. So I fill that section, I go straight up and down. I'm gonna make sure that I go all the way down, making sure my needle kind of follows along the scalp so that I know I'm grabbing the bottom side and that second weft, okay? So I do the same thing. I'm gonna pull it through, there's my loop. Go through the top, pull it up and pull it tight. Okay, and do the same thing. Go back through the same section and pull my loop up through the middle. Okay, so I do that for the rest of this section and then I would tie it off at the end of the row just like you saw on the last section. The, one of the really cool things though I wanna show you is the bottom side when this is all done, how they hide really well. All right, so we're gonna finish this up. Okay, so I finished that last bead. All I'm gonna do is just tie that knot again on top. I can feed my needle through, tie it on the back side so that it's hidden. And then I just clip that string so that I leave it about an inch long. Okay, now here's the cool part. Once I unclip that, I'm just gonna part along the underneath side and lift it up so you can see. So we're gonna get a nice shot in here, nice and tight. Denise, will you tip your head to the side for me, please? Excellent. So you can see the whole bottom part is completely covered. So there's no beads for anybody to be able to see. They don't show. You create a completely hidden or invisible track of beads. So when you lift that hair up and they pull it up into any kind of a braid or ponytail, it's completely hidden. So that's one of my new favorite things and new favorite ways to apply weft extensions. Thanks for joining us today, you guys. Just to recap, we're here from our beautiful babe showroom in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you're ever in the area, please feel free to stop by.